Hello YouTube, my name is Wellington and you are welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you just like the title says um, how to use your GeForce Experience Shadow Play to record your screen just like what I'm doing right here. We'll get started, just go to your GeForce Experience shortcut if you have it on the desktop and open it or you can go down here, GeForce, open NVIDIA GeForce Experience, and that will still open it for you. It doesn't matter how you open it, I, you just have to open it, whichever way you do that. So, right when we get here, I'll show you the system I'm running. Um, I have a GeForce GTX 760 i7-4770K CPU. It's not overclocked. Um, 16 gigs of RAM, 1920 by 12 by 1200 um, resolution of my monitor, and I have the v current version as of today of the drivers of the GeForce Experience. So just make sure you always have those up to date. Um, I'm running Windows 8.1, just as you can see here. Um, just make sure you always go here, and you always want your GeForce drivers up to date, just like there. Um, these are the current versions as of today. Um, so we'll get started. How do you record your screen? If you're not a gamer like me, like I have no games at all, I just use my system for um, video and animations and 3D stuff. So usually you would have to use um, shadow play only when you are in a game um, but I don't do that so it was useless for me and I so much wanted to use it while I'm you know capturing my screen and finally I can and I'm going to show you how you can do that most important you want to turn it on just go um, right here shadow play open it and turn it on right here once you turn it on you want to go to the preferences, shadow play, and tweak around these guys. If you have um, a webcam attached and you want to record it, this is how you do that. Camera, and you have to turn it on right here. And LM, I mean large, medium, and small. That's just how what big you want your your webcam to appear here. But I don't have that, so. Um, that's just wanted to show you those settings you can do that too the most important thing that we want for this video is this right here allow desktop capture you have to check that on that's how you have to do it if you don't enable that then it goes back to just in-game recording only so right down here you want to change if you have to I just leave mine in the default that's where all my videos go but if you want to change them to go somewhere else this is how you do that just go change to whichever location you want and I have some settings right here that I have to mention like when you get to the shadow play right here when you open it you have settings here that can only be done when you're recording if I turn it off this will be disabled you can't do anything here same as here you have to turn it on before you can change any settings so um the settings i wanted um just give you a quick review about um right here this gives you a quick open to your files wherever you are being saved it just gives you a quick access to that and this just brings you to these settings right here and this one here is your audio when I'm not gonna click these settings just because once I do that my timing starts right then like if I say I change any settings the video when I go to save it, it will start right when I change I clicked these settings so I'm not going to do that I'm just going to give you an idea of what's in these settings right here so in audio you have three options I think as of today it might have changed whichever time you're watching this video but as of today it has three settings in here you can either
turn it off like you don't want any audio being recorded or you can record just what the computer is playing that's if you're in a game and you just want the game sound only not any sound from the microphone or you can put it to where I have it right now in game and microphone so if I play anything on a computer um, um, and now it, it would, and it also records my my voice on from the microphone so that's mainly what the settings that you have and then the quality it gives you um, custom which is what I'm using right now 1080p and 30 frames per second it goes up to 1080p and um, I think 50 frames per second and it has some more settings in there you can see those and then what I wanted to say too is the shadow time the shadow time um, is how many minutes you want to be um, saved when you hit um, out F10 which is the way you save your files after switching that on and doing whatever you're doing um, I have it at 20 so um, every time I hit out F10 it will save the last 20 minutes this I mean if you've re been recording for 30 minutes and you have it set to 20 minutes it will save the last 20 minutes of those 30 minutes you've been recording so that means the first 10 minutes you've not got them you've missed them so just make sure you know how long you're going to go or watch for whichever minutes you've set I think it goes down to about five minutes I'm not sure but 20 is the highest it can go as of today okay so after you are done with all those settings just close it and go get work do whatever you are doing and once you are done hit out F10 and your file will be saved wherever you you direct it to be saved so after you're done with everything um, and by the way you don't have to have this open when you're hitting F10 um, out F10 you just hit out F10 and your file will be saved wherever you want it to be saved and just go there and open it so that's that pretty much um, concludes this video please do not forget to subscribe to my channel um, I have more videos coming up and if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up um, share with friends who might want to know about this and um, yeah subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video peace